Hey there, how's it going everybody? In this video, we want to talk about the MST, I mean the minimum spanning tree. And maybe you ask what is MST, I mean minimum spanning tree. If you want to explain this stuff, I mean minimum spanning tree, it takes about a couple of minutes. So you should wait a couple of minutes and after that you will definitely get it. Consider this undirected graph which it has seven nodes one two three four five six and seven nodes so we have seven nodes and these are and these are the weights of this undirected graph for example this is the weight between the node two and node five which we call it u25 i mean the weight between the node two and the node five so we call it u25 which is seven and this is the uh, this is the weight between the nodes 3 and the node 5, which we call it U3-5. There it is. So these are the UIJs in this undirected graph. But here's a question. Here's a question. And this is a, a fundamental question in calculating the MSD, I mean minimum spanning tree. What is a tree? How can we find a tree which its weights are minimum? I mean, for example, consider this tree, this tree, with seven nodes I mean these seven nodes this is a tree with seven nodes and you can see that it's a tree if you add up all the weights I mean five plus six plus three plus two plus eight plus one you will get something to something like 25 and this weight is the summation of this of this tree weight I mean the weight of this tree but you can see that it is 25 but can we can we find another tree which its weights are minimum or which its weights are less than this 25 of course we can but how how can we get a tree which its weights are minimum this is a fundamental fundamental question in calculating mst i mean minimum spanning tree one of the credulous or stupid way is to write all the trees and calculate a corresponding uh, weights I mean the summation of its weights and uh, then decide which tree is the best but this is not a reasonable way this is a stupid or credulous way of doing this of calculating the MST so we shouldn't do this uh, solution so in order to calculate the MST with an algorithm we will talk about the cruise calls method the cruise calls algorithm and remember there were other algorithms such as prims uh, algorithm but we want to talk about the cruise calls method because it is a very very simple method uh, for calculating the MST I mean minimum spanning tree so what is the algorithm first you should draw all the nodes for example this is node 1 this is node 1 so first of all we should draw all the nodes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we have seven nodes after that you should sort the weights i mean for example this one i mean one u two three is the minimum weight so you should sort the weights in ascending order so after sorting the weights in ascending order then you should draw lines in this order i mean respectively then you should draw lines respectively in this order so let's do it first we should draw a line between two and three with the weight of one two and three with a weight of one then we should draw a line between three and four with between three and four with a with a weight of two then we should draw a line between uh, seven, between five and seven between five and seven five and seven with a weight of two with a weight of two then we should uh, draw a line between one and three one and three with a weight of three then we should draw a line between six and seven six and seven with a weight of three with a weight of three then we should draw a line between uh, three and six three and six with a weight of four there it is and then we should draw a line between five and six five and six but oops you know you cannot draw this line why because drawing this line is not allowed why because if you draw in this line if you draw this line if you draw this line if you draw this line then you will have a loop which is not allowed which is not allowed so you shouldn't draw 
this line. So you shouldn't draw this line. Why? Because if you draw this line, you will get a loop, which is not allowed. So you shouldn't draw this line. The next line, one, two, which is not again allowed because if you draw this line, you will get a loop. So this is not allowed. Then you should draw a line between one to four and between one to four, between one to four, which is not allowed because if you draw this line, you will get a loop. So this is not allowed. And after that, you should draw a line between four to six, between four to six, which is not again allowed because if you draw this line, you will get a loop. So this is not allowed. And after that, you should draw a line between two to five, two to five, two to five, and then it is not allowed. And again, it is not allowed because if you draw this line, you will get a loop. So this is not allowed. And then you should draw a line between three and five, between three and five. And again, it is not allowed because if you draw this line, you will get a loop. So this is not allowed. So here it is. Here is our minimum spanning tree. And let's calculate the summation of its weights. I mean, the summation of UIJ. And it is 3 plus 1 plus 2, 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2, which equals to uh, 15. And you can see that it is much less than this one. It is drastically, it is drastically lower than uh, this summation. So this is a minimum spanning tree. I mean, a tree which its weights, which the summation of its weights is, its is uh, which the summation of its weights is minimum. So this is the MST for this undirected graph.